Hats off to you. Hello, Edward. Hiya, Thomas. Good morning, you two. Hello, Hello sir. sir. Now, Thomas, I need you to take these... Oh, bother that telephone! I'll be with you in a minute, Thomas. Okay, sir. So, Edward, have you heard the buzz? What buzz? Well, the other day, while I was at the docks, I saw a cranky kissing... What? No! You're joking! Oh, bother! Okay, I'll talk to you later, Mother. Goodbye. Oh dear, oh dear. What's the matter, sir? Well, I've just got on a phone call from my mother, and she said that my brother is now out of jail. Your brother? What brother? <gasps> Excuse me, Sir Topham. You don't quite seem yourself today. Is everything all right? Yes, Thomas. But I'm not Sir Topham Hat. I'm Sir Loam Hat, Sir Topham's brother. <laughs> Your brother? You mean Sir Loam Hat? Yes, Thomas. Him. Sir Loam Hat? Is he that identical twin of yours with the mustache who likes to play with children? Yes, that's him all right. Ah, oh, yes, I remember him. The only time that I remember seeing him was when he, when we mistaked him for you, sir. But that was about ten years ago. And while we're on the topic of your brother, what do you mean by he's now out of jail? Well, there's a reason why you've only ever seen him once, Thomas. The truth about my brother is, is that he's a... Pedophile. Huh? What did you say? Ugh, let me say it to you closer. He's a pedophile. Oh. Well, that's just... disturbing. Yes. And not only that, but he's also committed a lot of other crimes in his past years, such as selling drugs, robbing stations, and breaking into children's homes. He tried to keep it all a secret for many years, and I was the only one who knew about it. He threatened me that if I told anyone, even our parents, about his crimes, he said that I would never see the light of day again. I tried to keep it all a secret for many years, but it was too much for me to handle. So, a few days after he visited Soto for my birthday, I decided to confess everything to the police and my family. The police found him at some child's home, and he was arrested and put in jail for ten years, and I haven't seen him since. Oh. Wow. Golly, what a tragic backstory! <sighs> Wait a minute. You said that he committed a lot of crimes in his past, and you're telling me that he was only in jail for 10 years? Shouldn't he be locked up for, oh, I don't know, for life? Oh, about that, well, he was originally supposed to be in jail for about 58 years, but that was cut short because the Soto jail was getting full of criminals, so they just decided to release some of them, including him. I don't know why they chose him, though, to be released. Anyways, just try not to talk to him if you see him by any chance. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Now, stay right there, Thomas. I still have to give you your jobs for today. Okay, sir. Oh, me. Oh, my. I already knew about Sir Loam being troublesome, but after hearing that, he's much more troublesome than I initially thought. Look at me, I'm rolling. Hey! Huh? Hey! <gasps> that must be Sir Loam hat. Oi! Oi! Sir Tom had told me not to talk to him, so I won't. Wait! Stop! Hmm. Hee <gasps> hee. Oh, you! You have caused confusion and delay. <gasps> Listen, sir, I didn't mean to drown James in that chocolate. Oh. It's you. You're not Sir Topham Hat. You're Sir Loam Hat, aren't you? You're absolutely right, Thomas. Anyways, how have you been, Thomas? It's been such a long time since we first met. Yes, and hi, Sir Loam Hat. I hear that you were in jail, but was released early. Is that true? Absolutely right, Thomas. Well, I wasn't expecting that response. Anyway, sorry, but I can't stand here all day. I had to get to the docks urgently. Well, why don't you take me with you? Nope, sorry. Wait, Thomas! <sighs> yes? 
I was wondering if you could at least drop me off at Natford Station. I want to see my brother again. Sorry, but I'm not pulling coaches at the moment. And plus, I'm not sure if your brother really wants to see you again. Oh, pish posh. I just want to apologize to him. Apologize to him? What for? Uh, um, uh, a few reasons. Anyways, it's okay if I can at least run your cab to Natford. Uh... Alright, hop on board. Wait, really? Yes, 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 I'll take you to Natford, but let me at least make my delivery to the docks first, and then I'll take you to Natford Station. Well, hot dog! Thank you, Thomas! You're welcome. And please don't try to do anything stupid along the way, like how we first met. Sure thing, Thomas. Away you go. Hello, Thomas. Hey, Percy. Why, hello there. Huh? Sir? Is that you? Why do you have a mustache? That's not Sir Tom Hat, Percy. This is his brother, Sir Loam Hat. Nice to meet you, Percy. Oh, pleased to meet you too, Sir Loam Hat. What's he doing with you anyways, Thomas? Sir Loam here wants me to take him to Naffer Station to see his brother. He wants to apologize to him for something. Apologize to him for what? It's a long story. I'll tell you later. All right then, Thomas. let us go Natford Station calls. All right then, Sir Loam. <coughs> Bye, Percy. Bye, Thomas. <coughs> Hello, Thomas. Uh, hey, sir. Greetings, Bertram. Huh? <laughs> What are you doing here? Thomas gave me a lift here. Thomas? Well, I, uh... The only reason I brought him here is because, uh... He said he wanted to apologize to you about something, sir. Mm-hmm. Well, then. What do you want to apologize to me about, then? Charles? Well, Bertram... Wait a minute, your real name's Charles? Yes. Anyways, as I was saying... Bertram, I would just like to say how deeply sorry I am for all that I've done throughout my past few years of being a criminal. And? Hmm? Is that it? Yes. Oh. Wow. What a waste of an SC short. I took you here to apologize, and that's it. Really? I was expecting like a three-minute apologetic scene or something like that, but... Wow. What a waste. Oh, no, wait. There is just one more thing that I would like to say. What? Bertram, my dear sweet younger brother. Prepare to die! What? <gasps> Sir, get down! Holy! I can't believe the fake gun actually worked. <laughs> Got him! Sir, are you okay? Uh, yes, Thomas, I'm fine, thank you. But, uh, you're kind of standing on my legs. You're what? I said, you're standing on my legs! Oh, sorry. <laughs> this will teach you for getting me locked up, Topham. <laughs> oh no, he has my money! Uh, you won't get away with this, Sir Loam. I think I'm about to. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> ah, huh? What's going on? Ah, uh, you must be James. I heard from my brother that you like to go fast, eh? Well, here you go then. <laughs> Rail Raider! Ah! Oh no! Sir Loam's hijacked James! Sir Loam, you say? You mean that Sir Tom had doppelganger? Yes! <laughs> Come on, Thomas. We have to stop them at once. Right away, sir! <laughs> Gordon! Tell your driver to call the police! Tell him to meet us up at the shunting yards! Hmm. Ah! Ah! Somebody help me! <laughs> What are we gonna do to stop them, sir? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, I'm a genius. Turn on the next junction you can find. Got it! Ah! <laughs> stop, Thomas! <laughs> Alright, now, James, my brother, will be here any minute. What you're going to do is quickly shunt some cars in the way of James to stop them. Are you sure there isn't another way to stop James? Like, a rubber band of some kind? Thomas, this is no time for unrealism. Now quickly shunt those cars in less than two seconds. Okay. Pop! Well, that was easy. It's like I didn't even do anything. That's the magical thing about video editing, Thomas. So, how long do we have to wait for James to- Here's James! <laughs> Ow. 
Ha <laughs> ha, yes, we did it. I still think a rubber band would have worked better. Oh, bollocks. And just where do you think you're going, Charles? Oh, do you really want to take me on, little brother? I was always the best fighter out of the two. Oh, I won't, but he will. Huh? Oi, you! Ah! Ugh! Sit down on the ground, don't say a thing! Oh, fooey. We got him. A few moments later. Goodbye, Charles. I hope to never see you again. I'll see you down below when I die, Bertram. This isn't the end, you hear me? This isn't the end! Yes, yes, shut up, now get off the door! Beep, beep! Oh, it's the end, all right. So, is he going back to jail? You bet your bumper he is. But I thought you said there wasn't any room in the Sodor jail. There isn't still. However, the police realized a dumb mistake of not sending Loam to another prison on the mainland. And that's where he's heading now. Oh. Well, that's a relief. Yep. So, are you going to take me to the Steamworks or what? Oh, right. Sorry, James. Let's go. Just you wait, little brother. I may be gone, but big things are coming to Sodor soon. Out from underneath your fat nose. <laughs> Oi, quiet! Sorry. <laughs>